radio set up. What is up, you guys? It is John Wood. How are you? I'm glad that you are just hanging out, tuning in, chilling, whatever it is that you're doing. But today, man, we're going to get all over the place. We're going to take a look at the new iFlight Cinebe 75 HD, you guys. Um, iFlight just sent me this to kind of check out. I really wanted to get into Cinewhoop because if you haven't checked out any of my other stuff i do like doing kind of some cinematic edits i call it fpv therapy series on my youtube channel um go have a look if you want sub whatever if not that's cool too and i hope that you are here to check out the cine b75 because what i'd like to do is throw it in the computer and do the whole rundown from uh, what firmware it's on to kind of just maybe a quick tune and a preview the only bad thing is I have two 3s batteries right now that are charged maybe a little bit big for the job you guys um, so yeah I'm gonna definitely pick up a handful of the China Hobby Line series batteries something that's gonna fit this little bad boy perfect and yeah and then it's on and we'll pick up a bunch of them hopefully because yeah I'd like to fly these a lot so it's got the Cadex Turtle camera in it, you guys. 1080 60. I have seen it, have not adjusted it, have not adjusted anything really. So yeah, I don't even. I, I think it's on Beta Flight 3.5. So I have previously plugged it in, and then I decided that I wanted to do this instead. So we're gonna we're gonna have a look at it as well. But we'll plug it in the beta flight. We'll check out what the PIDs and everything are at, the tune, what firmware. Double check what I have done so far and make sure that's good to go as well. All right, so we were gonna plug in the beta flight. It looks like this bad boy is on 3.5. The target is MK41. So, uh, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know if that's a target that you can just grab or if it's one that you'll have to download from a specific GitHub, maybe get from iFlight. I will look into that and hopefully include all that information below. If I don't, just hit me up and hopefully by then I'll have the answer. So, we'll jump right in, you guys. We have not done anything, as I said. Um, there are some things I would like to do. We'll get into that a little bit later. The only thing I, okay, we'll just get this out of the way. I'm a weirdo and I run motor stop. I like to be able to arm my quad without my props moving and then start flip on air mode and engage my props. It, anyways, different story. But yeah, motor stops on D Shot 600, 8K, 8K. I never run anything, accelerometer, barometer, any of that stuff. I, right now, this is on S Bus because I believe it has an FR Sky something in it um i don't know i fly tbs and so yeah that's one of the things on my list is to throw a micro in there throw a crossfire on this bad boy and get back to the way i like to live my life when it comes to sending my money and my quads out on a flight so yeah uh beacon tone we got that set i don't run any beeper anything except for what i said on my rx and i have that on a switch so all that's still good to go. Power battery, have not gotten into anything, like I said, so we will just skip that, because today's all about just getting it in the air, seeing how it flies, figuring out what to adjust, and seeing if we can get it going good. So as far as pit tune, yeah. Um, let's see, I kinda just started to set it up as I did my five inches, feed forward transition all the way up to one, Smart feed forward off, I turn relax on. Let's go ahead and put I turn relax on roll pitch y'all. Anti gravity, we'll go ahead and make that eight. TPA, I went ahead and bumped that up to 0.15. And yeah, let's save that. Um, PIDs, let's see my rates. I turned down my rates a little bit. I think I was just gonna turn those back up. So I'm going to input my rates, 0.91 RC rate, 0.82 across the board for RC, or I mean super rate, excuse me. Okay, that puts us at 1011, that's where I like to be. And I'm going to go ahead and put 0.25 on my Expo just to start out because, yeah, I'm going for cinematic footage, so maybe get a little bit smoother around the edges. So yeah, we'll go ahead and save that. 
we will just have a glance just so we know okay 100 200 what our filters are at and again this is beta flight 35 i wish it was 352 right off the bat but i can always flash to that later or can have a look at flashing um beta flight 3.4 but i kind of like to give new releases a few because i don't like uh debugging issues and having problems when i just really want to get out there and fly and have a good time okay so we're going to leave that the same receiver i have already got that set up um, some people i think no not on this one you'll be fine i change this from interpolation the rc smoothing to filter yeah yeah for sure set up the modes motor is good osd yeah uh, a lot of stuff on here i didn't touch uh, yeah we just okay We'll go ahead and have a look. We'll turn fly time. We'll turn timer off, craft off, throttle position off, VTX channel off, warnings off. I like main battery voltage. I don't like the logo. We're not gonna roll much here, you guys. We'll just put the battery voltage on there. Um, yeah, let's just roll with that for right now. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that. Everything looks good, everything looks good. Black box is good. All right, so we have pretty much just ran through, put some rates in, just made sure the setup was fine. I have put about 30 seconds worth of flight through this thing and with a dead battery, just to make sure that my receiver and everything was working properly and that my video was set up and it all is. So we are going to toss on one of these batteries. We'll go ahead and disconnect, unplug. We'll toss on a battery and yo uh, got an SD card don't have an SD card in it okay so the SD card slot on the micro has a pull up tab SD card slides in label out or label towards the bottom it is a little bit tight I think so it is a little tight to get in there which is a good thing because if you ever ran one of the old school run cams, you notice that you probably ejected a uh, SD card or two. So SD card is in, I believe from what I just glanced at on the internet that <laughs> the way it's set up out of the box is that it's gonna, as I power up, it's gonna start recording. So we will double check, make sure that we have some sort of indication in the goggles that yes indeed we are recording um i believe it's set out of the box to 1080 60. i really hope that it is and it had a tiny little battery strap on it when i got it i decided to go ahead and change that And at the time being, okay, there it goes. It's almost a, almost thinking I was going to regret my decision for putting a little bit bigger battery strap on there. But I think we got it. Okay, so we will. Plug this baby in. We'll get the goggles on. Get the radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Welcome to OpenTX. Perfect. We've got the goggles right here. We've got them plugged in. We'll go ahead and power those up. Got the most amazing hot dog fat strap, you guys. If you don't have a hot dog fat strap, especially a brain FPV one, you need to get one because Ben's the man and they make some amazing products and it feels way better on your cranium. All right, there it is. Cinewhoop 75, Cinebe 75 HD. All right, so let's take a look here. We are powered up. I should be on my channel E6. Okay, Cadex, Betaflight, and boom. Top right corner, you guys, I've got an indicator showing me I am recording and a flashing record. 
So, let's take our first spin and let's see how it flies. All right. I mean, camera looks good. No adjustments. All right. So, right off the bat, it feels tune feels pretty good. Yeah, so I've always wanted a micro, you guys. I've never actually owned one. Ooh. What I'm not used to is how close you can get to objects, I think, because I'm so used to a big five inch or six inch sticking out there. This thing is great. All right, so it just feels so weird because it's so small. Oh yeah, yeah, just so totally weird. I reacted just like I would with my five inch. All right, so we'll just cruise. I thought I was gonna hit that. I probably jerked too. Last thing I want to do is crash this thing into concrete. All right, so let's go up. Let's go up and play in the trees. Bad thing is this thing is so light, you guys, that if you hit it in a tree, it's pretty much done for. Can it roll? Oh yeah. Yes, that thing is great, you guys. Man. Telemetry lost. Thank you. That, that's awesome. I could seriously get into doing this. Yes, yeah, so the little batteries did pretty good, just cruising around. Um, everything felt pretty solid. It's just gonna take a little bit getting used to. Um, stuff like there's no prop nuts. It's just like press on. So just press the props onto the motors. Everything spins good. These little bad boys are 1103 motors. Um, little iFlight motors, two to three S. So yeah, this is the two to three S version. This thing is though. Okay, so I was noticing a tad bit of mid-throttle oscillations, kind of just hanging out when I was more or less trying to hover. It seemed like I was kind of getting a little sway. And that could be several things, but being that it felt kind of more like mid-oscillation, granted, you know, this is one pack through it, so I might go back and adjust this later on. But I think I can just add some TPA to the mix, um, maybe a little bit more and maybe get some of that out of this. So I think I put it at 15. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put that up to 20, I think. I'm gonna bump it on up to 20. And I only have one more pack for this. So I think I'm gonna try to get that pack in. 
and hopefully see if I can make tell a difference but at the same time I want to try to capture a little bit of cinematic footage for you guys so that you can um, see what this thing's all about so. it felt like maybe some mid throttle oscillation of, on that so I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to 20 change 1650 to 1050 because I was doing that in beta flight 352 and above not really sure if that's going to do me any good or hurt me in the long run but everything looks good here yeah stock pids you guys stock pids so I'm going to go ahead and bump that up while I'm here 52 turn those up a hair and all right we'll save that okay so we got battery pack number two we will check and see if tpa did anything for that you know honestly i was hoping that it was going to be all messed up and i could run through a bunch of things and show you but that felt pretty good for uh that felt pretty good to just go home charge up some more packs and try it again um, it was a great starting point or at least it felt like it. It may be completely different when I view it in the HD footage It may be all over the place. Let's hope not because We're just going to kind of fly around in the trees and let's see what we can capture with the Cinebee 75 HD Rocking those sweet gem fan props. I love those All right, we're off Oh, we hit a tree, you guys. We fell onto the concrete. All right, so this will be a good time to see how good it's gonna hold up if you fall out of a tree onto the concrete. Let's go see. Yeah, so I was just cruising. That's what I was afraid of, ghost branches. Spring's coming, you guys. It's not quite here, so the ghost branches are still everywhere. And like I said, the little tiny drone, I think it's only going to take just a very, very minuscule branch to take it out. So, we get it back over to the table and we'll see what it looks like. Judging by what I felt when I picked it up, everything looked just fine. Nothing was cracked. Well, I say nothing was cracked. Nothing fell off when I picked it up. Let's say that. So. All right, we'll check it out. Looks like I lost a little antenna tube. My battery slid back pretty far. Um... Yeah, so we are rubbing on the duct. May have just, okay. Popped a little tiny screw out of the duct here that holds it in place. Okay, so the duct, I think the duct, the little plastic duct broke. Let's see if I got a little screwdriver. So I think I just need to screw the duct back in. Telemetry lost. I think it'll be fine. Uh, motor one's fine. Yeah, two spinning fine. Uh, there, the screw went back in. Yeah, the little plastic piece cracked. I think maybe some hot glue will fix that up. Four's fine. Yeah, so it must have landed on the rear because did the same thing. That little screw right here. It must have just landed on like that because it it didn't break break but it put a little pressure crack on the plastic here and i think it's causing it caused the duct to get a little out of whack spins fine spins fine yeah so i think if we could just adjust this one a little bit more yeah because it's still rubbing a little bit here 
That may have just, that may have solved it. I did lose an antenna tube. So I'm gonna go see if I can find that real quick. Check that out. Needle in a haystack and we found the needle. Okay, so yeah, we'll slide the antenna tube back over just to offer a little bit more love for our antennas. All right, so the final outcome and the biggest question that I know I'm gonna get is, did I enjoy it? Yes, the answer is yes, and I'm not just saying that. I'm honestly been extremely hesitant when it comes to mini or micro drones, but yeah, this one, man, I just bashed it like several times and it did good. I mean, I got tree bark inside the duck thing. Um, I'm really stoked about it, honestly. I can't wait. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't wait to get uh, the ducks replaced with the spares that came in the box. They're spares, so I'm not worried about it. Or get some printed or anything, really, and get this thing back up and going. I'm going to have to remind myself to go a little bit easy on it because I just get caught up in the moment. But first impressions, you guys, what... A blast to fly um, it just flies so good so much fun now what's the HD footage look like well we're gonna find out soon check it out soon um, but man that was fun I highly recommend it you guys this is the iFlight Cinebee 75 HD 2 to 3s running some gym fan micro props you guys little 16 35 props and it feels pretty dang good it's got the the caddix filming in uh 1080 60 so we'll take a look at that and that'll give us an idea if we need to go in and adjust the camera settings on the caddix which you see the little dongle right there they've actually made it pretty easy to just attach onto that change that up and i haven't been into that menu but i'm excited to see what it's what's inside but yeah it's all protected real good the bottom cover is great um it allows for everything that you need okay, i can't wait to get some more stick time on it to get maybe the tune on it maybe a little bit more dialed in or maybe it was the duct that was bent that was causing my little vibe issues but either way we'll get it sorted out more to come from this guy but for now enjoy the edit thanks for watching um if you have any questions shoot them my way I, if i can't answer them maybe i can talk to iFlight and we can get an answer for you but appreciate you guys appreciate iFlight let's see your footage go kill it